so good to be back. Doesn't have any dials on. We are back in London with the Eiffel Tower across us. Today we are at the beautiful Londoner Macau and we are going to try this newly opened dining concept which is inside the Sheraton Grand Macau and it's called the Conservatory. So come on, let's go! We are at the conservatory and this particular area that we're at is called Three Bottles. So basically this whole concept is like a three part sort of dining space wherein you have three different restaurants within it. One is this Three Bottles like I mentioned, the other one is like a Chinese sort of kitchen, it's called Chan. And the third one is their sweet shop. It's real! You can actually play and get some gumballs from here. Oh look, they've got the squid game kind of biscuit. Honeycomb. And they've got some little chocolate sardines. <laughs> That's so funny. So, Three Bottles basically is like a London pub style. So pretty much the kind of dishes that they have here is like what you would get on a typical at a typical London pub. Whereas Chan is uh, your typical, you know, Hong Kong slash Macau style kind of food. So that's what you get over there. But even if you're seated over here or you're seated at Chan, you can pretty much order the same items because the menu is uh, compiled into one. If you're indecisive and you don't know what to get, whether you want to eat something Western or something Chinese, you can just come here and you can pretty much order different items from just one entire menu. All right, so we've got our duck egg and asparagus salad for starters. And this is the English dip sandwich right here. Obviously our table is really small, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to fit everything that we ordered in here. Although we only ordered three dishes, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pop. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, so much cheese. I am loving it. This is the Kotai Midnight Sandwich and it looks absolutely delicious! Delicious, delicious, delicious! Look at that cheese! Alright, so before we get into the taste test, we have to um, pour the hot milk over the chocolate bomb because it has to be really hot in order for it to melt. We don't want it to get really cold. Today's a really cold day, so I'm just gonna pour right over. Uh, the chocolate is melting now. Get all that blended in. Here they all are, so I'm excited. I'm going straight right for the sandwich because this cheese looks absolutely delicious. It's really, really cheesy this is actually what i came here for this raclette sandwich it's called kotai midnight and has beef and a lot of cheese mm. Mm. the bun is like crunchy but soft at the same time it's really nice i think it's buttered toasted pretty well like the kind of toasted that i like i like you know crunchy toasts so I really like this bun. The beef is super tender, juicy as well. Oh, I like it. It's super flavorful. That's quite surprising actually. And the cheese just blends it all together. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my God. I think this is like the best sandwich I've ever tried in my life. I like this, I like this a lot. Oh, look at that layer of beef. It's like two thick layers. It has some caramelized onions as well, which is why it's so flavorful because you have like the sweetness of the caramelized onions and then you've got the saltiness of the cheese. 
and the beef. Ah, oh, this is really, really good. Mm. So good. Mm. It's so good. Now I'm gonna try the salad. I'm gonna save all of that deliciousness for later. We'll try everything else first. Oh, look, the egg is still slightly runny. So I'm gonna have to mix all of that together. And get all that yolk, yolkiness, yolkiness into the salad mix. This asparagus is nicely shredded. I'm not used to this kind of um, presentation. Usually asparagus just comes as it is. This one is slightly different. Oh, and we've got some edible flowers as well. This is nicely done, nicely presented. Kind of fancy. Actually, this place is a little bit pricey, but it's Chinese New Year. We're out for a celebration. So the sauce is hollandaise sauce. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 I like the tanginess of the hollandaise sauce. It's not too sour, but there's a slight punch there, which I like. I also like the texture of the egg. It goes pretty well with the asparagus. Oh, this is a tasty salad. Mmm. The texture of the vegetables is really interesting. It's, like, it's crunchy. It doesn't feel like you're eating vegetables. I like the crunchiness of everything. Mm. We have some chocolate. There's marshmallows in it. Mm. This drink is just perfect for today's weather. It's really chilly today. So having a hot chocolate, a glass of hot chocolate is just perfect for today. I am loving it. Mm. The chocolate is a little bit sweet for my liking. I usually don't like really sweet chocolate. I was hoping it's a little bit more bitter, but can't complain. It's a nice chocolate. Just a tad sweet than I would prefer. So I got myself a chicken sandwich. It's called the English dip. So it comes with a gravy that you can dip your sandwich on or into and then yeah so this chicken is stuffed in sage let me try one first without the gravy and see how it goes mm. yep you can taste the mayonnaise there's mayonnaise in there as well but the flavor is not super strong. It's very mild, very light. It kind of tastes like a chicken salad sandwich. And the bread is really soft. Ooh, okay. I just dropped some on my shoes. Let me try with the gravy. Kind of tastes like those gravy that you put on turkeys on Thanksgiving. Really soft, really light, not super rich. But it's good. So let me try the salad. Let me try this. Mm. No, that is rich. <laughs> this is a rich salad. Floating in flavors. And they use duck egg instead of your regular chicken egg. There's some dried vegetables as well. Or say dehydrated. Asparagus. I'm actually excited to try your sandwich. I love how they serve this. They just pour that oozing cheese on your sandwich. And by the way, the cheese stinks. <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> when they brought it here, it was like, oh. I guess I'm just gonna use fork, my fork for this because it's kind of messy. Mm, wow. Mm. 
bed is really good. Super soft beef. It's like falling apart. And the cheese. Still kind of stinks, but it's really good. Mm. Wow. This is a must try. Try la. I am going to try this dip sandwich. How do I how do I begin? Okay. I'll take the smallest one on the side and you're supposed to dip it in this sauce. Sauce, look at that. It's dripping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like ulam on a sandwich. <laughs> The flavor of the sauce with the chicken, it's like you're meant to eat it with rice instead of a bun. <laughs> but surprisingly, they go well together. Mm. Oh, it's really different. Mm. It's unexpected. But it's nice. You know, usually, when you eat bread with like a dip or something, like you would dip it in thick sauces like curry, you know, like Indian style. But I didn't expect something as thin as like um like what what kind of sauce do you even call this? Like a turkey sauce. It's a gravy. It's gravy. But it's not thick gravy, it's like a really thin gravy, really light. I didn't expect it would go so well with bread, but it does. Surprisingly it does. That's good. The only comment I would say is that I wish they'd put more chicken in the bun. I think the chicken is really thin. Yeah. But otherwise, it tastes good. Like this one, oh, so worth it. You guys must try like Pierre said. Now, we'll finish everything else first off camera. I'll come back to you guys. I can't wait to finish all of it. I wanted to try at least like one of the sweet items from their sweet shop. So if you want to order dessert, you have to order and dine in because the sweet shop is pretty much they're just selling candies and stuff like that. This is the sticky pudding with ice cream and some honeycomb. So I really like the honeycomb earlier. Pierre um, ordered coffee and he's got this tiny piece of honeycomb and I really liked it. So I ordered something off the menu that contains honeycomb as well. So the pudding is hot. Mmm, it's really hot and really sweet too. Oh, that's super sweet. Okay, they like sweet stuff in this place, huh? But it's really nice. The pudding is really, really soft. I expected it a bit more doughy, but it's not. Let's eat it with the ice cream. See how both the cold and the hot sort of go together. Mmm. I kind of prefer the pudding alone without the ice cream. Tastes better. But this dessert is also really filling. I want to try it with the honeycomb. This honeycomb is really sweet. So with the pudding, <laughs> it's extra sweet. Diabetes waiting to happen. Wow. That is really, really sweet. If you're someone who's not really into sweet, this isn't for you. But if you are, definitely something that you must try. It's good. Not for me. But I'm still gonna finish it. I don't want to waste food. I'm gonna need a lot of water after this. Wash down all the sweetness. I'm trying to finish this. I don't know if I can. I'm like nearly halfway. But the sweetness is getting to me. It's getting stuck in my throat now. We'll try. We'll try. That was such a great meal we had. Three different dishes, two drinks, and dessert. I'm so full right now, but I'm not complaining. We're gonna walk back home, but yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the weather. It's super cool today, so it's a nice day to take a walk, although it's gloomy. 
Thanks for tuning into this video. If you like, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.